Tazio's Life in Venice, a retelling of Death in Venice by Thomas Mann, presented by Sarah Anderson and Paige Custer. Eris. Myth versus reality. Eris is a god of love, passion, and beauty in Greek mythology, and is depicted various times as either man or child, changing ages throughout various myths. Aschenbach first calls Tadzio Eros the morning after he meets him, due to his great physical beauty. Aschenbach believes he is simply admiring him as an artist, not realizing the length and debauchery he is willing to go to see Tadzio. In the book, he says, It was the face of Eros, with yellowish glaze of peri and marble, with delicate and serious brows, the temples and ears richly and rectangularly framed by soft, dusky curls found on page 1777. I mean, I saw this Looking at me, what am I about to see? Mm. I mean, not bad to be admired, so. Come on, I'm just going to be honest. I guess so. Hyamsa Thos. was the male lover of the Greek god Apollo, who was either accidentally killed by his immortal lover or by the god of the wind Zephyr who was jealous of the relationship. Aschenbach is reminded of Hyanthesos as Tadzio plays in the park as the sun sets. He then compares himself not to Apollo, but to Zephyr, regarding his jealousy for his attention. This comparison implies that the relationship between Aschenbach and Tadzio does not end well. In the book, he says, it was as if he was watching Hyanthesos, who had to die because two gods loved him, found on page 1791. Narcissus. Myth versus reality. Narcissus was largely considered to be the most handsome mortal in ancient Greece. So handsome that he fell in love with a reflection in a pond and refused to leave it until he withered away and died or fell into it and drowned. Austin Bach compares Tadzio to him after the first time Tadzio smiles at him. However, Austin Bach realizes and acknowledges that the boy merely sees a reflection of Tadzio's own youth and beauty in Askenbach's gaze. In the book, it says, It was the smile of Narcissus leaning over the mirroring, mirroring water, that deep, beguiled, unresisting smile that comes as he extends his arm toward the reflection of his own beauty. Oh, found on page 1792. Her 
Hermes. Myth versus reality. Hermes was the god of many things, most eminently the god of travel, and in this case, the leader of lost souls to the underworld. As Osenbach six line, he gazes out to where Tadzio is in the water. He seems to be beckoning Askenbach to him. When he gets up to go to him, he dies. His love for Tadzio led to his downfall. Their relationship is destructive, as everything Askenbach did revolved around Tadzio, becoming more and more obsessed with him. In the book, it says, quote, It seemed to him, though, as if the pale and charming psychagogue out there were smiling at him, beckoning him, as if lifting his hand from his hip, he was pointing outwards, hovering before him in an immensity full of promise. And as often before, he arose to follow him. This is found on page 1808. Conclusion, we find that in the book, Tadzio doesn't show any signs that he feels the same as Oskenbach feels. Based on his interactions, rather, we find that he enjoys the attention and the admiration. Figures from Greek mythology feature prominently in the story, adding to the passion and debauchery Oskenbach sinks into in his pursuit of Tadzio.